this season, this next season, is decisive for RJ Barrett's future with the Knicks. Uh, does Julius Randle have the same scenario that Andre Barrett about the future in the franchise, about uh, rebounding, about the field goals percentage? Uh, what can what can that tell us about this moment and RJ Barrett and Julius Randle in the future with the Knicks? I think this offseason for RJ is going to be critical. Um, you know, we already see the videos of him practicing and getting ready for the FIBA World Cup for Team Canada. Um, you like to see that. You like to see that he's back out there practicing. Fred Katz wrote an article last offseason how, you know, he, he didn't really play a lot of basketball because he wanted to make sure that his body was healthy to get that contract extension. So you can you could add to that saying maybe that was part of the slow start, you know, why he came in a little bit more bigger than actually trimmed down. He looks more trimmed down this offseason, uh, getting ready for the upcoming season because of the World Cup. But this is going to be a big season for R.J. Barrett, no question about it, okay? None of this, like, we can't have any more of these inconsistent slow starts. You know, you're considered one of the top three guys on this team. You got to bring what you did in the playoffs to yeah. start the season. It, it's got to start now. Um, otherwise, you start to look at that extension as like, is he going to figure it out? I think he will figure it out. I think he is a guy who, who who consistently, you just hear how he speaks, how he carries himself. Everyone who talks about him, who covers the Knicks, um, even from his past, being at Mount Verde, being at Duke, he's the type of guy that will put in all the work to get better. Does that mean he's going to be a superstar? No. Does that mean he's going to be your 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 ne- uh, still a star? Probably not. He might be just a high-end role player who will make a few – uh, All star appearances. If he gets All NBA, I think he. I think that's we're talking about like a great. Like he'll have like one of the best, best years possible. I'm not sure that that will happen, but I'm pretty confident that whatever his ceiling is, which it could be a high end role player, I think he will achieve that. I think he will achieve that, and he will contribute to winning on whatever team it is, whether that's with the Knicks now uh, or any other team in the future. You know, hopefully he stays a Nick. Uh, it'd be nice to have one of our highest lottery picks to be a Nick for for many years to come, but he has to he has to start off on a strong foot this season and be consistent and, and demonstrate that he can be a reliable third option on this team. Now, for your question on Julius Randle, you know we this he it's a conundrum when you when you discuss Randall because the ups and downs, right? He's been here for four seasons. Yes. Two seasons yeah. have been in the garbage. Two seasons you could put on the top shelf. Trophy, obviously he was all NBA those two seasons. All-star those two seasons. He was the most improved player. So when you see that third season that he was on the team where he had the whole thumbs down incident, he was just bad. It was like, we know you can be better. We've seen you do better. It can't be that much of an anomaly that you go from – to make that 180 and then you just revert back. We know it's in there somewhere, which is why what he was doing this season, it wasn't shocking that he can get back to that all NBA level. What was more impressive is how he changed his shot diet because instead of finishing or, or attempting over like 60% uh, around his shots from around the rim, he put 50%. It was, it was close to an air even split of shooting, uh, you know, mid range jumpers attacking the rim and really attacking from behind the arc. He was putting up a lot of attempts he had more. He was. He's top five when it comes to most made threes this past season. Not high efficiency. 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 Thirty four percent from three. We need to see that get better for a guy who's taking about eight attempts per game. But you see that he has that that he has that ability in him. The issue is the inconsistency and the lack of showing up in the playoffs. Now I get it. Everyone's going to look at the ankle injury. I hear you. For me, if you're cleared to play, I'm expecting you to perform. I'm not expecting you to perform at your highest. But I'm expecting to say, see some modification, and, and to a certain degree, we didn't really get that. We had moments in the playoffs. That's that's okay, like, but not great for for a guy who's considered an All NBA caliber player who is an All Star. You have to perform to some sort of level to help rise your team's perform, raise your team's performance, as we saw from Jalen Brunson. This will be yes. a big, this will be a big year for him because he's going to have to show. Because at this point, it's not. Can you do it during the regular season? We know you can do it during the regular season. Can you improve your playmaking? We'll, we'll want to see that. You know, yeah. um, that's probably the biggest thing I'm going to ask for him. That and hopefully being a role man and attacking the basket instead of just settling for for mid range jumpers all the time and a lot of threes. I yes. want to see him be a strong finisher around the rim because when he gets downhill, he is tough to stop. So those are probably two things I've really thought about. But those are two things that can come off to the top of my dome that I'm like. 
That's what I want to see from him this offseason. But the real test, the real test for him moving forward, can he perform in the playoffs? That's going to be the that's going to be the question that everyone's going to be waiting for. It's not can he do it during the regular season? That's cool. That's nice and dandy. But got to do it in the playoffs. E aí, pessoal, este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Nick Fans Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos. E também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não? Para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! You're down with the orange and the blue